Oh my god, I absolutely loved it how he's like, think twice, boo boo. <laughs> Has everyone else seen that? I think he's hilarious. So this video today is a reaction, like my reaction to watching Super Dative's um, Person Fleek video, um, all about her eBay listings. Oh my god, I just love it. New felt bag organizer shaper for speedy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, to empty box shopping bag ribbon. Okay, well, one. Maybe you're selling one. We got one. There's from not Elvis, one. Box there's from okay. heaps. Oh, no, we got two pouches from Elvis. There's not just one. There's heaps. I feel like on this Draw video, screen. like Top legit, shop. there's like how many Hermes dust bags do you have? I mean, I don't even use dust bags for my bags. They just pretty much sit on display in the cupboard, but. And I lose the dust bags or they get put somewhere or up in storage or whatever. But I just don't understand why somebody that hasn't bought the burger from the store wants to buy a pre-owned dust bag that doesn't belong to a Birkin that they haven't bought from the store. You know, I don't, I don't get why anyone would want to pay like $50 for a dust bag when they don't probably have a Birkin to go with it. Hmm. I love this bit. Brand new Hermes dust bag. Same photo to portray. Same photo. You know, you should photograph every dust bag separately. I agree. Not just copy and paste the same photo because that's obviously not the product. Because it's not cause what you're selling. One product. But so you've just got the same product, photo the price. for okay. all of the listings. Well, I'm starting to get irritated. If I were at a mess, I would be like, hold up. Hold on. I'm irritated too. Dust bag again. How many dust bags are there? So far, there's five. Authentic Chanel magazine catalog. I guess that's probably not the end. sell those. Oh yeah, coffee table book. Chanel, mm. dust bag, 35, Chanel dust bag. At least we're sort of doing some other brands in here. Baby bottles plus feeding. I, mean, you know, I get the baby bottles. Kids. You have a couple of kids, you got the baby bottles. Look at that. MS and then box, ribbon, fit, mini, boxes. TPM. Oh, we got Who three gets so many boxes? There's three boxes with point, the exact same photo. Oh, and another two. At this point, oh, another two. Things are, oh, and more, and two dust bags. More dust bags. This, at this point, Crazy. The brand, the brand, I, I, I can tell you this for sure. This part is not a legend. What I'm about to say just now, Hermes and every other luxury brand, mm -hmm. they do scour the internet. They do they look know. through websites. They, they know. do look through eBay. And if Hermes Australia mm -hmm. in particular finds any seller, because they look, they make their, check, their routine checkups. They, they do their routine checkups. They, they do the checkups. They do it. They know. They're on to you. Anyway. Moving along. Another thing is the postage cost that's kind of like got me a bit stumped, you know. So I do sell things, you know, I sell things on eBay, I sell things, you know, on um, private Facebook high-end groups, which I've spoken about before. But postage isn't like $20. That's what I don't, I don't understand that because I mean, like a normal postage satchel bag is like $9.50, right, with tracking to post. And it's sort of like, like A4 size, um, like satchel bag. So I don't really get why selling like a dust bag or, you know, like a shopping, an empty shopping bag is going to cost $20 to post. Like I don't, I feel like it's just more revenue raising, trying to make a bit more money out of charging people like really ridiculous postage costs. So I got a little gift tag out of the cupboard. So this is a Louis Vuitton gift tag. I mean, I think I just got this, like, I just found it in a Louis Vuitton bag the other day when I was going through my shopping bags. So it's literally just a little envelope with a smaller envelope inside with a piece of card with nothing on it. So literally that is what she's selling on eBay. Why would anybody want to buy that? Like, I don't understand. It's just like a little mini envelope. I mean, should I sell it on eBay? Can I make a profit out of this? <laughs> Okay, so I actually have an Australia Post satchel. This is a $9.50 satchel. And this is my example of my gift card that I just showed you that I could possibly make money off selling on eBay. Is this going to fit in here for $20? I think it's going to fit. I think we've got like a bit more room in the bag for, for the $20, you know? If Hermes sees an eBay shop selling all this authentic merchandise of theirs, 
I mean, of course it's going to be a big red flag. Like, of course they're going to be like investigating who's selling all this stuff. Where are they getting hold of it all? You know, like how does somebody have so many dust bags? How does somebody have so many boxes, gift tags, like blah, 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 blah. How, who is this person selling all of these things? Because you know, counterfeiters are going to buy these things. They're going to make fake Birkins and they're going to put that in that authentic bag. Can I even speak? Why can I not speak properly today? They're going to put it all in those bags and sell it as an authentic item, you know, and that is totally, totally not okay. Like you can't sell, you know, legit packaging to somebody that's going to make a fake item and then sell a fake bag in it. You know, it's just, it's not cool. It's not okay. Now I do have to say, um, the video had a really slow start. I'm talking about Super Jacob's video, um, which I will link in the description below. So if you haven't seen it, you can go over and check it out. So it had a really slow start and I sort of was like, is this going anywhere? You know, is he going to show us anything with this video? But sort of towards middle way through, it started to get really interesting and I actually really enjoyed it. So it was one of my subbies that told me, oh, there's my phone. One of my subbies that actually told me to check out his video. I hadn't heard of him before. So um, now I'm a subscriber. I'm really enjoying his stuff. Um, yeah, so one of my subbies told me to check out his video and I did and like it was so interesting, like how he got hold of all of this stuff. Obviously the eBay shop is now gone. I've tried to look it up, you know, my, my subbies have told me um, the name of it beforehand and I've tried to look it up and it's gone, like it's been taken down ages ago obviously when all this drama blew up. But um, yeah, so he's very lucky that he got to get hold of it all and um, video it all for his video before it all got removed from eBay. Okay, so I've watched Person on Fleek's video, I've watched Super Jacob's video, um, all about the Hermes drama where he pretty much um, finds out what her eBay account is, um, looks it up, shows all the videos um, of all of her listings. I mean, it's not so bad. There's a lot of like makeup palettes, there's a lot of like skincare makeup, things like that, that I thought, you know, whatever, like she can sell whatever she wants on eBay, right? But then as he sort of goes through the pages, it becomes like more and more dodgy. Like there's Hermes gift bags on there. There's Hermes boxes. There's like Louis Vuitton, like gift tags that you get, you know, free gift with purchase or they'll just like put them in your bag when you buy something. I mean, like, why are you selling these things? You know, I thought I sell stuff on eBay too. Like I don't really see what the problem is. But as he started to go through the video and I'm seeing like Hermes dust bags listed for $56 and then like 20 something dollars for postage within Australia, I feel like Hermes has got to be annoyed about this Hey, Like she's a big following, she's got a lot of subscribers, obviously they probably know who she is, they probably know about her account and then somebody's like let them know about the um, eBay account. Like I just don't get it, you're buying Birkin bags, I mean, you're spending however much, 16 grand, 20 grand, whatever it is, whatever you're spending on a Birkin. And then you're taking it home, you're listing the Birkin on eBay, you're selling it, and then you're separately selling the dust bags. Like, ugh. So I started watching her reaction video to her first video that she posted. So the second one is called Responding to My Video Hermes Made Me Cry, Addressing Cyber Bullies, Am I Really Done with Hermes? Can I even speak? Um, so yeah, I started watching it. I did note that she said that she was going to swear in it and that she was going to block out the first um, two minutes of swear words in case there was any children in the room. Thought that was a great idea. Um, but then as the video started going, you know, she's starting swearing. There's like F-bombs coming out. And I just was like, I don't really think that this is the place to be swearing and sort of carrying on on a video on a public forum, putting it out. Um, to the world. I get that she did do like a disclaimer, I'm going to swear, blah, 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 blah. You know, if you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. But like, I mean, I just wasn't really, I think I just wasn't really expecting um, that. So I did click out of it because I was like, you know, I'm not really that interested in watching a video of you swearing and like carrying on on camera, you know. Eventually, I probably maybe go back and watch it, but I just was like, oh, it's not, it's not my style, you know. What does everyone else think? Did everyone else think that that was okay? I mean, I just, I just wasn't into it. 
to add to that I don't actually know Mel. You know, I, um, I'm a fairly new follower to her channel as well. I sort of started taking note when, um, I saw this Hermes Made Me Cry video pop up. I have done a reaction video to that, so I will link that in the description and I'll put it above for you. So my reaction to when um, her video was first released. And then since I've watched Super Jacob's video, um, this is my reaction to that. It's not like a personal thing um, against her. Like I'm not trying to, you know, be nasty or anything. This is just my, my judgment on the situation. And I do think, you know, is she a reseller? She's definitely reselling a lot of things. I mean, I don't know if she's a reseller, but she's selling a lot of stuff on eBay, you know. She got a Birkin, she then sold that because she um, had postnatal depression, which, you know, is no joke, it's a real thing. You are struggling um, with something, but I mean, Hermes gives you a Birkin and then straight away, like, you sell it on eBay. Of course they're going to be disappointed, like, SA is going to be disappointed. She's just, like, you know, try, like giving you something that she thinks you want to really appreciate and really love and hold on to forever. I mean, I feel like these Birkins are like family heirlooms, you know, that it's something that you're going to like pass down, you know, to your daughters and stuff. They're not really, they're not selling it to you to buy and then just straight away put on eBay and sell for profit. Like, I mean, if I was the SA, I'd be really disappointed in that too. One thing I do have to say though, that I don't agree with is all the bullying and the hate. Um, I mean, I get it. You're putting yourself out on a public forum. You're going to, you're going to get bullied. You know, people are going to write nasty things. There's a lot of keyboard warriors out there that are going to say mean things about you. Um, I mean, I get it, but there is a point where you have to think this person is a human being. This person is a mother. This person is a wife. You know, she, she has feelings. Nobody deserves that level of hate. You know, nobody deserves people to be nasty to them. We're all adults here. I mean, we should have all grown out of that. You know, when we're in school, if you don't have something nice to say, don't say it at all. So, I mean, I feel like you can talk about the situation, you can discuss, you know, aspects of it, but you can't attack a person, like personally, you know, for their decisions when you don't, I mean, you don't know them. So you can't, you shouldn't be saying like nasty, horrible things to her writing mean comments, etc. Totally okay to talk about the situation, to talk about your thoughts. Everyone's um, got free speech, you know, we can all talk about it. I mean, we may not agree with it, but it's not for us to be nasty. So that's another point that I want to get across. Um, yeah, don't bully each other. Don't, you know, don't say really horrible, nasty things to each other. That's just my point. So guys, that's my video for today. Um, my recap on the Press on Fleet drama. Um, if you want to check out my other video that I have uploaded, which is my reaction video to that initial video of hers, you can find it in the description below. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please click the bell so you can be notified when I upload new content, which is um, pretty regularly every weekend. You can also find me on um, Insta and Facebook. My um, links to those for my social media is in the description below. Have a great day.